Hey, what's up, people? What is up? Give me. Your name is Baby Balls. Baby Balls is your name. Give me. What's up, Afghanistan? Give me. Kabul. I'm not gonna come to Kabul. No Tora Bora, no Kabul, nothing. I'm not gonna come there. Dear me. Rahul, that's my trainee. Yeah, I'm mildly sick. Mildly. Everybody's sick, damn it. Right? Happy Thanksgiving. Well, I'm not in the US. Thanksgiving in Canada was like a month and a half ago. I have no idea why. Do you guys know why Thanksgiving is different from one country to another? <clears throat> I was talking to, uh, to a trainee from Australia. These guys don't even have Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving does not exist in Australia. It exists in the US and in Canada. But we have two different dates. But for you, it's a big, big deal in, in the US. You have Black Friday. Deary me. It's crazy for you guys. I can't wait but to see the people fighting at Walmart and Target. I mean, those things we don't, we don't have up here in Canada. You never see people like doing battle and fighting because of merchandise. Doesn't happen. You guys are special. Yeah. <clears throat> so first, it's no, it's no big deal. I mean, Thanksgiving was a few months ago, I think, a few weeks ago. Yeah. All right. Give me. You're from Croatia. Hello, Croatia. Every Croatian guy, his last name finished with a, like, itch. Like Milosevic. Same goes with Serbians. Almost the same. And also Bosnians, Milosevic. Yeah. Cardio saluted, but I'm, I'm, I'm sick. Hopefully I will not get sick during me. Every client is sick. Every client is sick. It's like the strain of viruses are getting are getting definitely worse and more virulent year by year. Not saluted. Uh, Jose Villatoro. Jose, you live in the US, but you're Mexicano. You're a proper Chicano hybrid. So technically, if you do Thanksgiving, you are doing cultural appropriation. It's like a redneck taking part in Cinco de Mayo, which would be not saluted, right? So Jose, listen, you're an absolute Aztec descendant. You're from the Aztec and the Maya of old. Well, I mean, mostly the Aztec, because it's from uh, Mexico, right? You should not participate in Thanksgiving. But yeah, I mean, on a serious note, Jose, like my Mexican trainees, dear me, they already sending me messages. Bro, I need to, you know, we have family gathering. But you guys know what's up. I ask you, Jose, your family reunions is not saluted because you eat a lot. And whatever you eat and drink is not saluted. You drink a lot of Coronas, a lot of beer, and uh, the food, it's very, very not saluted, dude. It's not diet friendly, deary me. Jose, see? Jose, when he does that uh, emo, emoticon, it is brown. It's not like mine, mine is like white. So you, you had to download that to say, bro, I'm brown. Brown power, deary me. <laughs> I didn't know about that. I didn't know that, that, that like, black people and brown people they download special emo emoticons with different colors. <coughs> or else, it's gonna be triggering. You cannot post a white emoticon, brown, not white. <laughs> Jose, that means your phone detected that you're brown. By default, Jose. Your phone detected that you're brown, so it uploaded all these emoticons which are brownish. Mine are still white-ish. Although I'm not technically white. Hey, me. Can't wait to see the email from you guys, my trainees. All the... Chris Raquel, that's my trainee. Chris, you're from Arizona. He's from Arizona, but he's white. 
That's what I got, Chris. His name is Chris Rogal. I think he's from Albuquerque, Arizona, but he's white. So he's a minority there, right? Hopefully you will not cheat, Chris. Don't cheat, bro. Anyway, Chris, you are in occupied territory. La Raza, La Raza will take back that. Will take back Arizona, Texas, Colorado, California. I mean, California is already done, right? But you stole that from La Raza, huh? A few decades ago, last century, it's not saluted. They will take it back. <laughs> They're winning. They reproduce more. They're sending caravans, take back their territories, baby, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that guy, you, a guy, he sent me an email. Bro, I just ate lamb. I just ate lamb for two days. I'm like, what the hell? We don't eat lamb. Lamb food, lamb meat is like the most non saluted. Ah, Chris. Okay, Scottsdale, currently. But from Cali, Chris, you need to go to Oregon or Montana where whites are still the majority. California, mm -mm, you're, you're not saluted. What are you doing in California? You're, you're occupying their land. Look at the names of the cities. Los Angeles, baby, please. Sacramento, San Francisco, right? San Jose, it's theirs, you took it. You did a war and then you took the territory from Mexico. Huh? And now they gain its back. You know what? How? The power of the womb. They reproduce more. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Latinos, their family structure is stronger. Their divorce rate is low. Right? They make more babies. So their, their family cells are more loyal. The new whiteies, baby, please. Uh -uh. As a matter of fact, since 2011, the majority of babies, baby, please, that are born in the U.S. are non-white. Since seven years, you guys are going extinct. Uh -huh. I have no dog in that fight. I'm a hybrid. I don't even rep reproduce. Actually, Jose is my is my adoptive uh, son. I have a lot of adoptive sons. Mm. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that Mexico should take back all the southern territories which were taken after the Mexican-American War? Right, more than a century and a half ago. Mm. Do you think that Mexico should take back everything? Even Florida, everything was Spanish back in the day. Right? Do you think they should take it back? Colorado, Montana, everything. California. Of course, New Mexico too. New Mexico, obviously. They should take it back. Jacob, Chapa. Chapa, that's, that's Latin. The land is ruined anyway. Land is ruined anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Nigeria. Should the Americans give Hawaii back to the Hawaiians? I think Hawaiians are better off staying with the US. Because, you know, they import everything from overseas, maybe, please. Right? And uh, I think they're benefiting from the US. The Hawaiian native people, or else, on their own they cannot, they cannot navigate. They cannot. They have it better, better than Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico was, alongside Cuba, the very last Spanish colonies in the Americas. And then the U.S. invented two things. Two things. They invented the the steel iron warships and also the recalling basically automatic gun they invented the automatic gun and also the steel ships they went to Puerto Rico took them six weeks only six weeks 
to uh, to win versus the the Spanish. They ousted the Spanish from there, and then they liberated Cuba and also the Philippines, which were very far away. It was a Spanish colony. They took it from them. Technology, bro. Technology. And the president. Uh, th th there is a guy who was the chief commander of the famous Rough Riders. Rough Riders. His name was Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt. T.R. He became a president after. But he was the guy who led the offense versus the Spanish. In Puerto Rico. The Spanish lost. Bye-bye. Hey, no love lost. Bye-bye, Spanish. Spaniards, go back. Uh, nothing lasts forever, eh? What's up, Switzerland? What do I think about SARMs? Poison. Poison SARMs. SARMs are poison. No, come on. Most Latin people are descendant from native people. Come on. They cannot be all, all Spanish. I have some Mexican clients who are white. These are descendants from the Spaniards, from the Conquistador. Conquistador. You know, what his name was Cortez, the mother lover. He killed a lot of people. But most of them, the brown people, are the really native people. When you go to countries like Argentina, Argentina, there's a lot of white people. These are mostly descended from Spaniards, but they're, they're mixed. There are a lot of Italians there. There's a lot of uh, Jewish people and also some uh, Germans in Argentina. It's like the whitest country, I think, in South Africa. South uh, America, sorry. That's that. Yep. I don't salute Columbus. Columbus is a mother lover. I don't salute him. Of course I don't salute him. I don't salute Cortez. I don't salute Columbus. Those are murderers. Murderers. Spaniard killed millions. They killed millions. Millions, millions of native people. That's it. That's what happened. That's the truth. The Falklands, the Falklands, there was a war, a small war actually, between Argentina and the UK, right? There were some battleships and they, they sinked some battleships and they took it back from Argentina, yeah, lately. Vasco da Gama, this is my, my trainee, his name is Antonio, he is Portuguese baby please. But he knows that deep down that his ancestors are Arabs. Antonio, you are an Arab. <laughs> it is what it is. Your dark skin does not come from Europe, eh? You know that. If you go to uh, Portugal, he's, uh, he's uh, Portuguese. A lot of names are still Arabic, like Almeida, which, which means the table, Algarve, 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 which means the West, and things like that. I mean, the Moriscos stayed in that land for like eight centuries, baby, believe. Yeah, so a lot of genes. And they were ousted by the Spaniards. And the Spaniards tried to, I mean, they, they ousted everybody. They had like a deal with them. But they kept them there for like a, a century. And then in 16, I think 1607, they ousted them. It was the very first recorded in history. Uh, I mean, they expel them by the boats to North Africa, go, go away. Even though these guys, they were Christians, because they have been forced to be Christians. So they came to North Africa, and people did not recognize them. Who are you? What the hell do you want here? They didn't know that they're basically ex-Moriscos who converted. They call them the conversos, right? So they, they, they sent them. And, and in, in North Africa, people, they didn't recognize them because their name changed. They were named Sancho. If you go to Morocco now, you will see people named Sancho as their last name. 
because they come from there. Anyway, history is messed up. History is a lot of messed up. I mean, look at me. I mean, my my beard is is blonde. So, most likely my ancestors were were captives. Because back in the day, in, in, in North Africa, they were capturing boats of white people. They captured them and they sell them in the ports, the ports of uh, Tripoli, the ports of, tu of Tunis, but mostly in Algiers. Algiers was a big, big port of white sla uh, slavery. In French, they call it La Traite des Blanches, La Traite des Blanches. They were capturing white people and selling them as slaves. So probably my ancestors were like that. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. All right. Kosovo. Yeah, Kosovo. Kosovo too. What? Well, Berbers, you know, Berbers is the name that Westerners give to North Africa, but it started with the Romans. Romans, they, they were calling everybody else barbarians. Even the Germans, since they were like in, in the north, they were not, they were not able to, uh, to conquer them. They lost a lot of legions. That's not like two legions or three legions, and, and they were dead. So they called them the barbarians. Everything outside of the Roman Empire was barbar, meaning like savages, or vandals. The vandals have their, their empire in, 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 in North Africa, and then they destroyed Rome. When they destroyed Rome, they came up with the verb vandalize, to vandalize. It comes for, with the vandals, right? That's why, when you go to southern Spain, it was called the Andalus. The Andalus comes from the name Vandals. When the Arabs uh, arrived there, they found two people, the Gothics and also uh, the Vandals. They call it, okay, Vandals, Andalus. That's the name, uh, that's where, where the name and, uh, Andalusia, Andalusia comes from. <coughs> this guy is from South Africa and, and, and he look white, dearie me. Listen, you're, you're, you're from South Africa, I know that you have a big alarm system in your house and you're afraid to go to some places it became a very very uh, dangerous actually for for south i mean in south africa for uh, for uh, for white people if you're a boar not saluted i know that you want to flee you want to go to australia what's your name Werner. Werner. yeah and your name is uh, boar so you're probably a proper afrikaner i know that you want to flee to to australia but you can't you can't can you you can't you're stuck there I, I, that's what's up. Fatima Ines, this guy is my trainee. He's, uh, I think he's from Montenegro. Yeah, Montenegro. Next to uh, Kosovo and Bosnia. Yep. North of Spain, it's called the Asturas. Asturas, next to Bilbao. Bilbao. Not saluted. It's always rainy. Asturas is not saluted, dude. I've not, well, uh, people live there. I didn't visit Greece. Greece is a proper country to, to, to visit. A lot of history. I got this chick right here. She's from uh, Turkey. Yeah. She wanted to talk to me. Said, yeah, you're too, you're too young. Don't talk to the LUI. You're too young. Come back later. Indian dish do you enjoy? Well, it depends. I mean, these, some people say samosa is Indian. Some others say it's uh, Pakistan. But it's the same thing. I mean, Pakistan and India were the same country and then Great Britain created a line okay this is uh, the, the Muslim part and this is the Indian part but it was the same country I would love Greece I know this guy his name is, uh, is Antonio he's my trainee we started working when he was in vacation with, with his family in, uh, in, in Greece and he was sending me like the dishes look what I'm eating cheat meal after cheat meal but right now he looks good Kabul, I can come to, to Kabul and say, hey, I'm Muslim, please do not uh, kidnap me, the, the Taliban, do not kidnap me, I'm not a true uh, Westerner, do not kill me. Here's where it is. Oh, this guy is Danik, Danik Kanovich, he's a bodybuilder, he's not FBB, he's from Israel, I think he's 24 by now. Amazing back, this guy, proper, proper everything, he's very good. Can your plans be fitted around an Indian Asian? Yeah, I have a lot of trainees who are Indian, but as long as you're not vegan. I don't mess with vegans. Antonio wants to invite me to London. I can come. 
I can come to uh, London as long as you don't take me to the Chavs. The, the, I, I, I don't want to go to Chavs land. I don't want to go to uh, Danik. I, I miss you too. The guy is good. This guy is coming. He's too, I think he's uh, 24. He progressed like this. He's young. Amazing legs. Amazing everything. Wide back, wide lats. People accuse him of doing uh, Adobe guys, but no, it's for real. Yeah, this guy is Matrini. His name is uh, 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 Fredo. People accuse him of using uh, steroids. And people do not believe this guy has started with him exactly in July 23rd. I swear to God, I saw him on July 23rd. So pretty much at the beginning of August. 16 months and pe people don't believe, bro, you took juice. Come on. The guy is a family guy. Come on. He's a family guy. And no, he used to train a lot, this guy. He just got fat because he went off for a few months and he had a, a proper real estate of muscles people don't oh, bro use something come on do you think i i give uh, give my client advice on steroids i don't know how to how to use them this way it is uh, yeah i've heard that rami switched to neil neil is very good neil is amazing yeah i don't know if he will uh, will move there but neil is good neil is good no uh danny unfortunately i'll not come back to bodybuilding because I met them, I met these guys, and, and hopefully, uh, Danny, because you're young, you're 24, I'm sure that you have a, pro a profession, and, uh, and bodybuilding is just a passion for you. I'm, I'm sure that you are smart enough to not bank on bodybuilding. You will not be rich on bodybuilding. And do not put your heart into it, Danny. You're very good. You're an amazing bodybuilder, like top uh, level. You're a world-class bodybuilder. Do not put your heart into it, because when you meet them and you get to know them, you see a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of a lot of negativity you you might get hurt so don't take it personal but uh, if i didn't meet these guys and the top guys probably I'll, I'll still vlog about it but when i met them it's just negativity that's all i cannot lie to myself sweden is absolutely not saluted it's the top like the the, the country like the western country who is not saluted in the world is sweden and it is triggering but you must do some research about their ancestors they come from the Sions the Sions and they mix with the Setons the Setons when the when the Roman met the uh, the Setons about 2000 years ago they were shocked it was a matriarchy it was a matriarchy so they're still matriarchs and they're destroying themselves Sweden's they're shooting themselves in the foot right look at their birth rate not saluted but nature hates the void. Don't even take it personal. They're being replaced. Same goes here in uh, in uh, in Canada. De Deary me. There's a proper re replacement, but it's about a genetic battle. Nature hates the void. When well, the locals do not reproduce because of divorce, because of feminism, right? Because a guy does not want to lose his kids and pay uh, child support and, and, and uh, alimony. There are some other uh, countries that come from the south usually, and they will replace you. Take it personal if you want, but if you are wise enough, if you're red pill enough, you want to take it personal. Why would you take it personal? It's nature, damn it. Would you take a risk to, get, had a, to go ahead and get married in, in Sweden or Canada or Australia or even the, uh, the US? You got an issue in your head. Me, if I can get married, the only, uh, 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 obviously I don't wish to, to get married, but for me to get married, I have to go bring a chick from a, an Arab country, which has been you know, educated to respect the gender roles. She knows her place. She's a proper, proper woman. And me, I'm a proper dude with huge cojones. Dude, right? That's it. If there is no differentiation, oh, gender equality, good luck with gender equality. They me. You don't, you don't see where the society is, is going. It's going down the shitter. And worse, do not even think they will recognize their fault. Oh, it's our liberalism who is killing us. No. They will, they will take their ideas to their tomb. Look at the birth rate in, in the US, especially in the white population. Look at me, come to Canada, I'm gonna take you to, to uh, Toronto. I went to, to uh, Toronto in 2013, I felt too white. People were looking at me, how is this white boy doing here? Right, there you me. Replacement, it's called the big replacement. That's what's up. Go to Birmingham, UK, ask, uh, Antonio to give you a proper idea about Birmingham, UK. Proper, go to Paris. Right? That is what it is, dude. Nature is, does not take it personal. You mess up, you implement some liberal, liptard stuff, 
not saluted. That's not saluted. And by the same token, the Tretcons, the Tretcons are like the traditional conservatives are still not saluted. They're, they're sending men to their, to their grave. I said, okay, still get married, be a man, be a man, man up. Man. Really? Why do I have to man up? I think it was gender uh, equality. Why do I have to man up now? You're my equal, I'm not gonna man up. You guys know what's up, you guys know what's up. I spoke to uh, Swedish chicks, Wahid, I spoke to sw Swedish chicks. They hate their father. I said, he's your father. No, he's a white man, I, I hate him. They have been brainwashed, the, uh, these girls, to hate their fathers. They hate their brothers. Of course, so there is a big tension in between, especially in, in, in white people. There is a big divide between white chicks and, uh, and, uh, and uh, white dudes. No, I, I didn't understand it when I, when, uh, when, 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 when I was young, but now I, I can see it. Because when I came to, the, I came to Canada, me, I, I was from uh, North Africa, so my, my blood is warm. It's like I'm not, sh I'm not shy to go ahead and hit, a, and hit on a chick. But then I noticed that the, that the local guys are like afraid from approaching chicks. And then I, I understood it. They have been neutered. When, when they were kids, they brainwashed them. They're, they're so afraid of chicks. It's, 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 it's incredible. So there's a big tension. You need to, to pull back and look at this in perspective and you understand what, uh, what's going on. It's, it's a big problem. This guy, his name is Inas, he's my trainee, Diced. He's from Montenegro and he lives in Sweden, but he brought his wife from Montenegro. So she does the food and she cleans the house. Deary me, she does it. Can you believe that? His wife does dishes, she does cuisine and she cleans the house. Like me, I had tons, 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 tons of girlfriends. They're all from the Western society, Canadians. Not a single one, not a single one was making food for me. She doesn't know. I was making food. She, 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 I mean, when she was young, she, she, she's afraid of, of, of making food because, oh, you're a submissive woman if you do food. That's what's up. You guys know what's up. You guys know this. You guys know this. You guys know this. That's what's up. If you want to get a proper chick who will do, do some food, go to a proper, like, southern Italy. Go to Greece, go to Turkey, convert to uh, Islam and bring her from uh, an, an Arab uh, country. She will do you food. She will never bust your balls. She will bust your balls a bit, you know. All, all, all women do, but she has traditional gender role. You will feel like I was at that store and I see a white dude, like white from here, whiter than me. And he was with, uh, with a woman that had uh, the Muslim veil, the hijab. So he is a local guy who converted and he brought a chick from there. He was like, wow. Yeah, and she probably does the food and, and everything. That's it. Antonio, you ha uh, uh, if, if you know a chick or two, if you have a young sister, hook up with the UI. As long as she does the dishes and she is a traditional chick, I'm, I'm all in. Now, for me, it's impossible. I'm sorry, guys. It's impossible to hook up with a Western chick. Impossible. Possible. You're gonna do it? Good luck. Good luck. Uh -uh, can't anymore. Dude. Straight up. That's what's up. And that's my advice until I go to my to, to my grave. That's it. Yeah. If, yeah. If you guys know, know some traditional chicks, hook me up. You know what? I'm gonna go there and live with her. There. It's even better. Proper, sir. God bless you. Be saluted. Always a pleasure talking to you. No insta thoughts. No, and this guy knows. This guy knows. That's what's up. They change, not us. Have a nice one. Be saluted.